hello guys in this video we are going to discuss how we use one cell in multiple table views i am creating a multiple views one view i already have that i have a table view and the second one Here the table view and set constraints for that. So first I create a class for that. Second table view controller. Click next and create select the clause for that second table view controller. Set the delegate and data source for that and extend the table delegate and data source UI table view data source comma UI table view delegate table view did selected row table view self forward index path and table view number of rows in section return five five rows in one section and cell equals to yeah, table view cell for now and return cell okay and <clears throat> now we are creating a cell one cell for both table views and select new file and uh, you select view next and uh, name of the view cell view and create so here is your view so didn't uh, don't need uh, this so i put the table view cell here and delete that view so we are using that cell I will create a label here send horizontally and vertically in container So that is showing on the center of the view. Create the cell class. Select properties class next and here select UI table view cell cell view w cell next and create then here the class of the cell cell view w cell and after that create the IBO clip for that label
test label okay and identifier set the identifier menu man cell okay and if you need to show both table views so you need to here cell view table view cell select the cell dot test uh, what is the name of uh, test label cell dot test label dot text and here to in second view cell view table view cell cell dot test label dot text equals testing testing click run and check for the first table that is working or not so here is the our form nil while unwrapping uh, optional value so it's not finding the cell table view cell class so it gives an error so first we need to register a cell view in the view controller here is the identifier and here is the name of sib for register so in the table view dot registered you enable nib name cell view cell view name of the nib bundle nil for cell identifier the identifier of the cell main cell and after that let cell table view dot do query usable cell with identifier main cell identifier for index forth as cell view table view cell the class of the cell and then cell dot text label dot text equals to one so need to test that it's working or not so
it's working so next step is we are going to show that cell in two table views and so create a new v controller with two buttons first and second first and second when we click the first it goes to the first and when we click the second it goes to the second put the navigation controller in the first and is initial view controller okay set the constraint left right top button for that button left right and bottom because top is already set so need to copy and paste that code second view controller second table view here remove that and put that code to here and I think it's working for now let test that it's working or not click on the first here is the first table view showing one 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 and we go to back click second and hit show two 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 so today we are creating uh, one cell and using multiple table views if you like our video subscribe our channel for more videos for iOS thanks for watching